So in this video, I want to talk about what to do once your Azure free credits have run out. As you may know that when you sign up for a free Azure account for the first time, Azure offers you up to $200 or equivalent in Azure credits within the first 30 days. And I often get students asking me, well, my 30 days are up. I've, I no longer have these credits. What can I do to continue learning about Azure? Now, I can't really advocate for creating another free account. Microsoft is pretty smart to that, and it's a fairly difficult. But what I can tell you is that there is the concept of free services for the first 12 months. So how do you actually get these free services? That's a 11 additional months of free services that you can use to practice Azure. Well, there's a pretty cool interface within the Azure portal. So if you log into the Azure portal using your free account, you can actually search free from the menu here at the top and you'll see a service called free services. On that page, it actually lists you the services that you're entitled to get for free for 12 months. And there's actually a button that will allow you to go and create it on the spot. So if I said I wanted to have a Windows virtual machine, a B1S size, so it's not any size, it's a, it's a fairly small size. But if you wanted to use that for practice, you simply go into the free account and you can click create and that will take you to the Windows virtual machine creation tool. Hopefully even having the B1S well, it doesn't even, it doesn't select the B1S for you, but uh, if you choose the B1S, that's the size that you get uh, for free, okay? So the free services uh, service, if you will, is where you're gonna go to find all of the things that you are uh, entitled to under a free account within the first 12 months. So it's a pretty handy shortcut to see if you wanna play around with Cosmos DB or SQL database, storage account, Windows VMs, app services, a lot of stuff listed on this free tab. Hope that helps.